Part A of this question is asking us to calculate the delta G naught for the isomerization of glucose 1-phosphate to fructose 6-phosphate. We start off with two different reactions, reaction A and reaction B. Our job is to combine both of these reactions into one reaction, which is a required reaction, glucose 1-phosphate to fructose 1-phosphate. We do here is we reverse reaction B. In doing so, the delta G naught for this reaction goes from being negative 1.67 kilojoules per mole to positive 1.67 kilojoules per mole. Next, we add both of these reactions. Cancel common terms to get the desired reaction. In this case, like I stated earlier, glucose 1 phosphate to fructose 1 phosphate. Combining the delta G naught of the reactions that we started off with, yielding the delta G naught for the reaction that is desired. We have negative 7.8 kilojoules per mole plus 1.67 kilojoules per mole. We use the delta G naught of the reactions, keeping in mind that. This no longer is a negative, but a positive. We combine both of these numbers, yielding the delta G naught for the reaction desired, in this case being negative 5.61 kilojoules per mole.